As we all know, the NBA is the most prestigious and lucrative sports in the world, which has diehard fans and followers all over the world. Sky Sports is the new home for the NBA. Talking about the shooters in basketball, we have a couple some who are extremely talented. The Brooklyn Nets wing Yuta Watanabe was fighting for a roster position when he came into the borough. He made a name for himself today by becoming one of the league's most proficient shooters and a key reserve. That's something even he didn't expect coming into his new opportunity. He's enjoying the best times of his NBA career right now. Unfortunately, the superb start of the season hit a pause, but he has now returned after missing a few games due to his right hamstring strain, and he's still maintaining his excellent form. Before he got injured, his play was the talk of the league. He was one of the NBA's top shooters, hitting 60.9% from the field and 57.1% from three-point range in 14 games for the Nets. Katie himself acknowledged this fact when he was asked whether he would take staff or buy in a three-point contest. When one of the interviewers asked, Kevin, who you'd take in a three-point contest right now, Yuta or Steph? He answered, the God stuff, of course, but Yuta is knocking it down right now. He's shooting the ball extremely well for us. He's facing the floor, but he's also driving the ball. When he catches him, he's making the right play right now. The Japanese basketball star's start in Brooklyn has been one he won't soon forget, thanks to the blazing start, especially considering the brilliance he is surrounded with. Some of you might not be completely familiar with the Brooklyn Nets jam. We'll dive deep into who Yuta Watanabe is in his purest form. Who is Yuta Watanabe? Watanabe, Yuta Watanabe, is a Japanese professional basketball player currently playing for the NBA Brooklyn Nets. He represented the George Washington Colonels in NCAA basketball, becoming the first Japanese-born student athlete to get an NCAA Division I basketball scholarship. He won the Atlantic 10 Defensive Player of the Year honor in 2018. He also participated for the Japan national basketball team at the 2013 East Asia Basketball Championship, helping them in winning the bronze medal. Watanabe began his professional career by playing for the Brooklyn Nets in the 2018 NBA Summer League, after going undrafted in the 2018 draft. Yeah, you heard it right. He went undrafted in the 2018 NBA draft. The Nets initially signed him to a summer league deal after he went undrafted and even offered him a contract, but he decided to accept a deal from Memphis instead. He went ahead and signed a two-way contract with the Memphis Grizzlies and their NBA G League affiliate, the Memphis Hustle. Watanabe became the second Japanese player to play in the NBA when he made his debut in October 2018 with the Memphis Grizzlies. After you, Tabu Say, who made his NBA debut with the Phoenix Suns in 2004. After a spell with the Grizzlies, he signed an Exhibit 10 agreement with the Toronto Raptors in November 2020 to join their preseason. This deal was later converted to a two-way contract after he made the team out of preseason. The Jeff, despite his rocky road to the NBA, he always had a smile on his face and his skill set is finally being brought to the average NBA fan's attention as he's starting to look like one of the best role players in the entire NBA. Watanabe has quickly became a major contributor to the Nets and has topped some of the league's best early in the years with shooting. The Nets reserve respects his role plays with his capabilities and willingly accepts whatever the defense provides him. In basically every statistic, Watanabe is averaging career high right now. So it seems almost unbelievable that at the age of 28, Watanabe is now getting the chance to showcase his ability and log significant NBA minutes. He has already been in the league for five years, and despite showing a highly remarkable upside, he's had to steadily advance and wait for his opportunity to develop and achieve it. I enjoy watching Watanabe play since it's clear that he enjoys the game. In comparison to other NBA players, he may not be the greatest talent in the world, but he does have heart, hustle, and determination. He continuously rounds the court on defense, defending whoever's in front of him, he cool guard about every position with his superb height of 6 foot 8 in his 6 foot 10 wingspan. Watanabe's off-ball movement is arguably just as impressive. His athleticism is real, but it doesn't get much attention. The man is quick and well-coordinated and also lives high. This makes him a perfect target as a cutter to the rim. Watanabe is also a very active off-ball player who doesn't just sit around. At the three-point line, he takes advantage of his athletic attributes by cutting to open spaces, which makes it easier for his team playmakers to do their duties, and in turn, he keeps the offense flowing and the defense solid. His ability to shoot the ball so well is undoubtedly what makes him stand out from the competition. His passing ability is what connects his offense game. It's subtle because he's almost exclusively an off-ball guy. Although he 
he's not a point guard, the vision is there when the guy gets open. Besides shooting and off-ball scoring, being able to pass and hit his teammates when they're open is probably the most valuable offense skill for a role player to have. And that's what Watanabe brings to the Nets team. Watanabe has earned the trust of his teammates because of how quickly and accurately he has been able to shoot from three this season. Watanabe recently stated that his team is driving him to shoot properly in an interview with Mike Scotto of Hoops Hype. He said, I've always known I could shoot, but 57, that's impossible. I'm not expecting myself to keep up that number, but I'm going to keep shooting with confidence. The reason I'm shooting well is because of KD, Ben, and Kyrie. I'm playing with those greats who get doubled all the time, so I'm always open, and my job is to make those wide-open shots. Watanabe made only 12.5% of his threes as a rookie for the Grizzlies in the 2018-19 season, and deeming to hit the ram on his first career attempt. He has significantly developed since then. The first thing you'll notice is that he uses a one-two step instead of a hop when he gathers the ball. When he first came into the league, he would jump after catching passes to set his feet. Now he takes one very small step with his right foot before receiving the ball, then one small step with his left to align his body after catching it. The second significant improvement in the shooting technique is that Watanabe no longer drops the ball down to his thighs when he receives the ball. Instead, he moves directly into the shot while keeping the ball above his waist. The windup has accelerated as a result, and this has led to more accuracy in the shooting. As of now, he is shooting 53.2%. From three karate playing tight defense, Watanabe unloads. Watanabe has put a ton of work into reshaping and improving his shot, and the results are paying off. He's among the league's leaders in three-point percentage, a favorite of Brooklyn fans, and a crucial member of the squad. The fans even gave him a standing ovation after a superb performance against the Grizzlies. The George Washington University alumni's versatility on the defensive end can't be overstated. His size, speed, lateral movement, coordination, and hustle all give him the perfect tools to be an elite defender. Due to his versatility and mindset, he can guard players efficiently from injury. Just as Ben Simmons' Watanabe's injury happened just as he was reaching his peak in an eight-game span, he put up six double-digit scoring performances, including 20 points and five three-pointers against the Trailblazers. He had established himself as a regular in the Nets' rotation by the this time. He is now back and it seems as if he has never left as he is continuing with his previous form's final thoughts. Watanabe is the perfect role player. He meets all the qualities one looks for from a player that is not going to run the offense. He moves off the ball and he is a sniper from three. He could connect the defense to the offense with his passing and most importantly, what rounds out his game is the defense you get with him because he can do everything. You guys think he'll keep up this fantastic play? 